gentlemen and distinguished guests. We come together this afternoon following the passing of our late sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II. Our sadness at this time is shared by people across the globe as we remember with affection and gratitude the lifetime of service given by our longest reigning monarch. The basis on which our monarchy is built has ensured that through the centuries the crown has passed in an unbroken line of succession. Today's ceremony marks the formal proclamation to the people of Leicester and Leicestershire, the beginning of our new King's reign. I now introduce the Lord Mayor of Leicester to lead us through the next stages. Ascension Council met at St. James's Palace to proclaim our new sovereign. The flag which had flown at aftermath since the Queen's death were raised briefly to their full height to mark the start of His Majesty's reign. The Ascension Council also made an order requiring the High Sheriff to cause a proclamation 
be read in the area of their jurisdiction. And so I now call on the High Sheriff of Leicestershire to discharge this duty. of the new sovereign is a very old tradition which can be traced back over many centuries. The ceremony itself does not create a new king. It is an announcement of the accession which took place immediately on the death of the reigning monarch. In an age where modern methods of communication convey news around the globe in an instant the proclamation is no longer the means by which people learn for the first time that they have a new monarch. Today, however, is one of the first occasions when communities have an opportunity to come together and reflect on the moment in our nation's history when the reign of our longest serving monarch came to an end and our new sovereign succeeded. I will now read the proclamation. Almighty God, to call to his mercy our late Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth II, of blessed and glorious memory, by whose decease the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is solely and rightfully come to the Prince, Charles Philip Arthur George. We, therefore, the Lord's spiritual and temporal of this realm, and members of the House of Commons, together with other members of Her Late Majesty's Privy Council, and representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London and others, do now hereby with one voice, and consent of tongue and heart, publish and proclaim that the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late sovereign of happy memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege lord, Charles III. By the grace of God, of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of his other realms and territories, King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection. Beseeching God, by whom kings and queens do reign, to bless his majesty with long and happy years to reign over us. Given at St. James's Palace, this 10th day of September, in the year of our Lord, 2022. God save the king. God save the king. 